What is the full name of the company? Dorado? Dorado, Dorado Music Packaging. Which Dorado is Music Packaging. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's, there's right a tile. I think mm -hmm. I can send it to you. It's a now, was that first I invented by Shore Pack? Is that the company that first invented uh, that? I, I, don't really, I, I, I don't really know because I wasn't involved in it. Yeah. That was back when it would yeah, fold yeah, over and they glued it and the glue would always come loose. That's well, this they is, could. This it's, is, it's a tab. It's yeah, a tab in that's it. what it's like. Yeah, but they, they perfected it a little bit. I mean, I know what happens, like I said. They, so, so, I have so you've done a lot of records here. Look at that. There's at least 50 or more. What happened, what happened in Precious you know what I mean? LA so I, was I'm, a printing company you know, that Jennifer I'm, owned. Yeah, and they I mean, had a I chance to buy Gerardo yeah, Music Packaging, which was see. doing sleeves and jackets, and she bought them. Okay. And it's wound up being... The biggest part awesome. of our business is the music. All right, thanks so much. Yeah. Bonnie, Pr yeah. Bonnie Prince, Billy. Let's see. Uh, oh, I know. I hear it. Forty-fives and ten inch. That's one of his records I don't have. He puts out a lot of music. I can't buy it all. Yeah, look at all this stuff. And he, the funny thing about this is all these bands I've never even heard of. Yes, because we, we started off doing a lot of independent the gears. Bands, a lot of independent. Independence uh, fine. I know a lot of independent bands, but. Ernie Graham, here's Neil Young Zuma. Oh, so you did the you did the, the uh, box. We did the box set when it was redone. The, so they, they re redid it as a numbered box set, and we, we right. Did that that's one. the and set box set. That's the second box right. set. Okay. Yeah, that was fun because we had no artwork. We had to use the original um, album and scan it. Scan it. Uh, okay, there. We did that with On the Beach. Uh, yeah, and the India do the inside, the whole fancy yeah. packaging. Yeah. yeah. Yes, indeed. So this production, this is where Katie sits and she handles most of my production if it's not a box set, which I see. Tim does. And she's really excellent. I mean, this is something we just did. I have that record, believe it or not. It's, it, you just did it? Well, it's a re-release. So it, it sold out at first pressing? Yes. Okay, there, someone gave me this for fun. I never played it. I have it. I'll play it. Michael Bubley. So he's quite big at Warner. Yeah. And so this, I have this record, and, and it got reissued. Everybody said, why would he release it? On, who would buy it? Who would, okay, people buy vinyl, but who would buy Michael Bublé vinyl? But there you go, folks. <laughs> Just goes to show you. Well, let me, let me show you some more. Yes. And take you into the plant. Take me to the plant. This is where Rodney Dangerfield hangs out. I'll tell you. Night. First of all, our plant manager started putting the this is the machine. There's only two of these in the country. This is the one that does the tip-on jackets. Ah. Now the clip-on jackets, as you know, unlike the direct board, start off with a shelf. Right. And uh, this is a shelf for a single pocket jacket. Okay. And what you do, it's turned edge because you wrap the front. Mike. Well, I do. Hi, Hi, Mike. 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 Nice to meet you. Mike, our uh, mad scientist who really makes this place safe. Okay. Michael Fremer. Yes, hi. Oh hi. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we met at the wax exhibit. That's right. That. Well, she yes, knew that. She knew yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. He didn't know that. I didn't know that. I don't tell him He didn't know that. that. I didn't right. Know that. Yeah, I thought you called me because we met at the wax. Yes. But, but we did. No, actually, but, Andrew Rossiter gave me your name. Oh. But he's wax, right? Right. He's part. Yeah, but I. Th okay, so there you go. Yeah, I, he said, you might want to contact. That is the cutest little camera I've You might want to contact yeah. Michael because he's really, uh, you know, big in the, as a blogger in the vinyl industry. And if you want to try to get your name out there, you know, you might want to know this. So guy. there you go. And here I am. And so here you are. That's right. Well, wait, I'll let Gary show you around. Okay. I've got to run and get a sample for something. Okay. Hey, Good nice to see you again. See. Yep. So all these start off as, uh, as shells, either right. a double gate or we even do trifold. Mike, you want to give him, he's recording, you want to give him a more instructional tour? In Harvard. And I told him we make impressions, he said like Rod, Rod well, the danger, danger field, you know, some impressions, you know. That's right. <laughs> so this is a, Julia Child, you know, impressions of people. That's a seven inch. Okay, I see. Oh. How, how big is this business, seven inch business? It's, it, you do a lot of that? Um, we don't do a lot. But you do. Because it's pretty, anyone can do it. I see. It's so pretty simple, and the right. gang guys and all them can right. do it. Yeah. We do more of the jobs that are harder that no one else wants to do. Right. Good. That's what we get involved in, made like these tip-ons. Right. We built the die. We built the machine that does everything in here. We built that. We glue them. We do everything. Wow. I was trying to show you is that because of uh, one of the, uh, the packaging plant that's in uh, Virginia, 
they, they, when I went out to visit them, they said, can you help us? Our, our vinyl doesn't fit very easily in, uh, with the sleeve yeah. in the packages that we're That's getting. That's not good. <laughs> None of them and so we, uh, Mike created a new uh, type of die because the size can't change because it goes in boxes. Right. It gets shipped to distribution. Right. So Mike had to make some changes that are in other directions to add capacity so that the vinyl with the sleeve could fit in a lot easier. I see. And that's what we showed you because we thought you might be interested in knowing that we've developed something that hasn't been done before. Yes. I, this jacket actually is smaller, so it fits in the box better. Right. But it, but it, the vinyl fits in easier. How do you do? How do you? How do you do that? It, the, Math. Yeah, but the size is the same. But so what? Smaller. The, it's smaller. Yeah. But if, it, if the vinyl doesn't fit in initially because it's too small, how do you? You make it smaller yet? Yes. This is, see this edge here? It's a fold over edge. Okay. It's a, it's a piece of board that folds over. I see. We can increase that capacity and make it thicker. I and see. by doing that, it increases the capability of this package to hold the vinyl I see. easier. Basically, Basically. there's... So now, where does the record go in this? I don't understand. Actually, well, what re really what happens is... What happens? What really happens is that this actually closes and that's what holds it in. And then we cut this edge off. Oh, and the record goes in there. It goes in the Oh, okay, because right. that's very confusing. Okay, now I understand. So this causes the capacity and it causes a spring because it gives them some flexibility. So, I see. So, Michael, you probably know this. When they do this... Don't make any assumptions for what a, I know. On a, <laughs> on a double gate or on this one, they do the outer wrap first, right. turned edge, <laughs> and they, then they do the liner, which seals the package. Okay. That's where the liner notes come from. Oh. Because they used to put the liner notes, and that's on the liner. That I didn't know. So you now you know. That's what we did this year. Aaron Dalton, thank you. William Shatner, that got, re, re, that got reissued, the William yes. Shatner? We've done it three times. Really? <laughs> who, really, who did that? Do we know? I don't know. I can't believe yeah, it. Oh, the William Shatner is uh, City Hall. Yeah, it's Mark Wyatt. Who is it? City Hall. City Hall, don't know. It's, uh, it's a, 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 a reissue. Right. And who did it? They did it like Radio Star. Oh. Radio City Big Star. Did they do that from, we well, don't know how to play that. I don't know. Who mastered that? You know, I don't know who mastered yeah. that. Yeah, see, the reason we do that, the reason we do this is that a lot of other places will just take the artwork or whatever and try to put it together. Yeah. We try to match the original. Yeah, that looks very, those both look very, very much like yeah, So that's why a lot of customers come to us and like this because we go above and beyond. We yeah. really uh, try to use our expertise. That's why. Yeah. Oh, you so you did the cellar door. Uh, oh, yeah, those are nice packages. Like a dollar bill was yeah, three. yeah, that's a nice package. You saw that I had that, yeah. Yeah. First job I did here. Uh, Pearls before swine. Who reissued that? You know. That too. That's I never heard of them. They, you know, it's ridiculous that these labels. I never heard of, and they never heard of me. Cellar door, you saw that one. Right? Yeah. More ridiculous to me than. City Hall, I Yeah, I got that one. There we go. With the fake, with the fake, uh, the fake cutout holder. That was only that one. That's right. Problem. That's right. We did that. We did the fake cutout. Oh, what, what, what are these for? They're all yeah, it's about seven inch. These are all Bob Dylan. Seven this went into the uh, Super Deluxe eight hundred dollar box set. Oh. The one that uh, they only did five thousand units on. Right. Wow, look at these. How cool are these? Well, they have the old time look, right, from the day. Oh, it looks great, and the paper's nice. Yeah, the whole thing looks good. Really cool. This is in uh, this look like it is uh, Rome. Bob Dylan, rainy day women, a 12 and a 35, a pledge of my time. This is Italian. This is a... Uh, look at that, you never see Bob Dylan like that. I want you. You think it happens bad now? Look at that place. It's a mess. I want you so bad. Yeah, look, this is great. This is all in that box that most of us will not. Uh, you, you, I don't know that you don't dabble in CDs too much, do you? I dabble. I dabble. Yeah, I dabble. Okay, traditionally, CD packages, because of the way that they're done, 
they have tab cuts like the director board. And what they want to do is they want to puff out the pocket wants to puff out like that. Yes, that's true. And it true. wants to bounce open. That's right. So Mike came up with the design that, that it, look at how flat it is. Look at how that feels. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But this isn't ever going to come out, you're saying, or something? It, I believe it. Oh, that one has. I don't think Oh, it's come out on has. CD, but not on vinyl. Oh, that's annoying. And what is, the, what is this? This Tour is a turbo. Oh. When is this? Is this recent? No, a couple years, a couple years. 2012. Yeah. I think I went. I, saw I, I think I have some of the stuff in my office, but when you see my office, you know I, it would take me a long time to find it. The mic keeps this stuff hidden somewhere to bring out at appropriate moments like this. These are mind. great pictures. More. Oh, cool. This is similar to what Led Zeppelin did. With oh the yeah, the spinning wheel. wheel yeah. Right, kind of spin wheel in it. But these are these are the kind of things. Get that hip that records from Pennsylvania and Pitt. never heard of these labels. Uh, it's a spin wheel doing they should hear of me. I mean, I'm very vain. I admit it. Oh yeah. Cool. Spin so we wheel. we tend to get involved in the more intricate. No one wants to do this. And this is deep <laughs> purple. That's a deep purple. We're doing that one right now. Oh. Yeah. Deep purple fireball. Another There's more machines out there. Yeah. And you, you, you use uh, fuel filters. A Volkswagen filter. Yeah. What this whole thing is, this whole machine was bought and it was supposed to be doing, you know, the big blue die cut folders that you used to have in high school. So they had made that, this machine for that. For the three ring? For the three oh, ring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we bought it. Um, they bought it. And they thought, they, everyone said that we could make tip ons on this machine. The trouble with it was that the people that had had it welded every nut, every bolt, every oh my screw, God. <laughs> so that no one could move any of the adjustments. Yeah. So I spent two and a half years cutting the bolts and making parts. Two and a half years? Two and a half years. Cutting the parts, making the parts, and everything has been modified so it'll run. Oh my because God. Because it's not a machine that does it. That's why I said Mike's a mad scientist. Wow. He's modified and everything. So in order for the company to invest two, two and a half years of your time to do that, they... I didn't they, spend every day at it. I know, I understand that. But right. still, it adds up to two and a half years of your right. time. Right, like you said. You're right. These are Volkswagen filters. Yeah. And, and my Saab used the same ones. Yeah. And, and so... Uh, and so Sorry, they did this here. because they they knew they didn't think this was going to be a, a fad or a passing thing. They thought this was going to be a long-term investment in something that would well, pay we, off. Well, we were getting there's only two or three of us in the country that can do it. Right. And it's a lot of there's more than going on than just the machine. Right. The glue took me about three years to find someone that would make it because it's an animal glue. So the AQMD and all the environmental people saying, "Oh, you can't use that glue anymore." So we had to manufacture a glue specially for it. It'll stick to it. Wow. Because these packages need to last forever. Yeah, of course. They can't fall apart in 10 years. That's right. So, and, so and then all up here is the same thing. If you look up, this has all been made. Climb up here. So <laughs> yeah, these bars are, so you can adjust it and pull together. These all different kinds of, these are all Heidelberg parts off a machine. And then the feed table and the blowers and the, Wow, sorry I'm not here when this is running. I think it'd be kind of cool to watch. I can turn it on. Well, what's, what, what's incredible like, is that I wanted to do turned edge because I used to always sit in the Stoughton yeah. for, for Neil, but there was nobody else in town. But then I heard about this place and then Mike had just perfected this machine, got it yeah. running. Wow. And so that psychedelic pill was the first one that we did. Oh, cool. It was the first project I brought here. And when they nailed it to Neil Young's art director, then I. Uh, started working here and part of the team too. And then again down here, if you go this way. <laughs> runaway train, runaway train, runaway train. Let it run. <laughs> like this minimum size sheet that this press will, this machine will run according to the factory. And I had the factory guys here, they were here for two weeks and they gave up because they couldn't get it to run. They walked away from it was eight and a half by 11. And so we just finished doing these. That's a tip on back side of a jacket. It's a CD jacket. No, yeah, it's a, it's a, a tip five on, inch. A tip, five inch. tip on CD jacket. Five inch. Wow. With UV. And then this machine here, the universal, and it's completely been modified. And actually, over 
11 five now, but we actually curl and do it. And you can see everything's been we made. Yep. So you can't go to your local hardware store. So you you machine you don't do you that. have to machine you that. machine it here or you have a machine shop uh, that you use? Both ways. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't make sense to have a machine shop doing. I would. Work. We need. We. I have. I do a lot of machining myself. Yeah. yeah. We have to. We have to actually make the part, show them what the part looks like, and then have it machine. Yeah. But not yeah. even knowing what it looks like. Before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. There's 11 of these in the world. We have two of them. And we're just running the dry cut or blue the the all on. line. And this gives you the final tip. This right. Is and the trick to our jackets, what a lot of people can't do. But, Where's the printing? What? <laughs> so what's different about our jackets is, is that. It stands up? Yeah, you can put the vinyl in. Oh, I, that, that's useful. This is not a tip on, this is the, the regular is standard jacket. Yeah, right. And that does, that one we leave up for 10 inch and this one we run at 12 inch. We're just running blank. We sell a lot of blanks. Really? Yeah, people have old records and stuff. And oh yeah, that's, a, that's a good, yeah. And you sell those directly? Or yeah, you, directly. You do? Yeah. What are those cost? Do that I do That's a good idea. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Here, you can have this one for free. That's okay. So, this, so you're, you're, you're boxing blank ones now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. How old is this one? 1967. 67. As you can see, all the parts are made. Yep. I don't even understand what I'm seeing. Well, it comes through here, the flat sheet, it's pulling it down the field. And then instead of pushing the guy, it's pushing the sheet through. Then it's coming through here and it's side cutting it. I see, okay. Side cutting it, going the extra piece down there. Right. Then it's squirting glue on it, pushing it up, folding it in half. I see. Okay, now I get it. Folding it and gluing it, pushing it down here, cutting the, the piece, the extra piece off the front. And you'll see. So all the rollers have been cut because we we're not we don't want to crush the capacity part of it. Right. So we cut all the rollers so that it's time so it doesn't switch the capacity. Where's the glue coming from? The glue is coming from right here. Right here. Where's the one pad right here? It's come back this way. One of the heads is shooting right there. Oh I see. Two heads shooting. That's where the glue goes. Where the glue goes. Okay. Oh, I got it. Let's go on this. Here's another machine Mike invented. Yeah, everyone, is, we were doing all these inner sleeves. You know what a regular inner sleeve is, right? Yeah. And so what had happened is that they're all doing them. Um, we were told that everyone had a machine to do it, so I go to binaries and stuff. 